I feel like Glam Glow is one of those brands that you see on Instagram a lot. And I've always been curious about it and whether it really is as good as everybody says or if it's just gimmicky and marketing and paid advertising. So when Glam Glow decided to send these to me, I was kind of like, hmm, let's go ahead and figure this stuff out and, and see whether this stuff is legit. So if that sounds good, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. Like I mentioned in the intro, these two products were sent to me by Glam Glow. I've been trying these for about three weeks now, something like that. And then at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, I decided I was going to get the glitter mask. <laughs> I haven't actually opened this and tried this yet. So we're gonna do a first impression on this, but I'm gonna give you full tested reviews on these two cleansers. We're gonna go ahead and go into what these products claim to do so you can decide whether these things are good for you or not. So first thing you need to know is that they are available at Sephora and Nordstrom and then glamglow.com, their website. They are not cruelty free. This is their statement. We do not test our products on animals nor do we ask others to conduct, conduct animal testing on our behalf, except where required by law. That's the same statement by L'Oreal and many other brands when they are not cruelty-free. Basically, they're not gonna test on animals unless they're required to, but in order to sell in China, they are required to test on animals, so they are not cruelty-free. These products, however, are made in the United States. They do not contain parabens, but all of them do contain artificial fragrance as most skincare products these days seem to. As far as prices go, um, we've got here the Super Cleanse. This is $32, you get five ounces of product. This is specifically for normal, oily, and combination skin. And then we have the Galactic Cleanse. This one is also $32 for five ounces. It's for normal, combo, and dry skin. And then the Hashtag Glitter Mask Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is $69. $69. Okay, it's 1.7 ounces. It is the same product as their Gravity Mud. It's just glittery. So if you've ever tried the Gravity Mud, it's the exact same thing. It is for normal oily combo or dry skin. So uh, just so you know my skin type, I do have normal skin. I don't have particularly large pores. I have a little bit of redness but nothing that really, you know, can't be easily covered with a lighter BB cream. This is freshly cleansed face with no anything else on it. So this is, you're seeing what my skin is. I don't have problems with blemishes. Every once in a while I'll get some dry patches. So I would say if I had to lean one way, either oily or dry, I would say I lean a little bit dry, but not really to the point where it's any kind of problem where I have significant dry patches or anything. So as a skincare and makeup reviewer, it's kind of a blessing and a curse in that I can only review things from my normal skin perspective, except for when it comes to ingredients. So we're gonna talk about the ingredients that are in these products so we can see kind of how they back up these claims with actual ingredients. If you're not interested in the ingredients and you just wanna to go to my review, I will put skip ahead buttons down in the description below. So let's go ahead and start with the Galactic Cleanse, and this is made specifically for normal combo or dry skin. The number one ingredient in this is capric and caprylic triglyceride, and that's derived from coconut oil. It is a skin replenishing ingredient. It's something that I really like to see in skincare. The second ingredient is actually sunflower oil, which is another hydrating ingredient. Next, we have the cleanser, which is something called isohexadecane, I believe. And then the a moisturizer and anti-aging ingredient called hydrogenated polydecene. Some other notable ingredients in here beyond the top four, we have glycerin which is a humectant. We also have Meteorite Powder. I actually have a very funny slash serious funny article on Meteorite Powder down in the description below. <laughs> it was like, is it really from meteorites? And the answer is supposedly yes, it is from meteorites and it is really in here. Uh, very, very expensive ingredient according to that article. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any proven skin benefits though, just so you know, but it is kind of a fun thing that it's actually in here. There's Evening Primrose oil, not a lot of research behind that one, but one that there is a lot of research behind is the white tea leaf extract for anti-aging, antioxidant properties.
celebrities love to see me. Some white tea, green tea in my skincare makes me super, super happy. Keeping in mind though that a cleanser is only gonna be on your face for so long before you wash it off. So I really like to see those. Those are even better for me in like a moisturizer and things like that rather than a cleanser, but I'm still, I'm not hating on it that it's in here. That makes me super happy. Moving on to the super cleanse, number one ingredient is water and then a relatively harsh cleanser according to the research that I've done. I mean, it's not a harsh cleanser, but it's an in pretty intense cleanser. Uh, it's called sodium C14-16 olefin sulfonate. Uh, then there's a texture ingredient, the foamy ingredient, and satiro alcohol, which is not a bad alcohol. The number six ingredient is something called glycerol stearate. It slows the loss of water from the skin by forming a barrier on the skin's surface. It's been shown to protect the skin from free radical damage as well. I will put the uh, reference for that quote down below. Glycerin and then charcoal powder, which is supposed to draw bacteria out of the skin and impurities and things like that. Uh, not really any other good ingredients in here that stand out. There is eucalyptus leaf in here, which they promote, Glam Glow promotes as being really, really good. The only research that I could find that was from a really good source on that said that it can be a skin sensitizer. So if you have sensitive skin, you may want to stay away from this one. This one seems like one that may be a little bit too harsh for someone with sensitive skin based on the ingredients. There's peppermint oil in here, and um, that's another one that can kind of be a little harsh for some people. It is an antibacterial ingredient. There's licorice fruit extract, some other extracts, things like that. Uh, but this one is definitely a little more harsh where this one is a little more hydrating. And this one specifically is made for more oily skin. So it makes sense that it would be more harsh. Hello, it's editing Jen here. I was watching this back as I was editing and I did want to mention one more thing about oily skin and harsh cleansers. You really need to be careful because you don't want to strip the skin of oils because it can actually increase your oil production. So honestly, at this point, I don't even know if I would recommend this for oily skin based on the ingredients. I would love to know in the comments below if you do have oily skin, if this has been an effective cleanser for you. But at this point, I can't recommend this cleanser even for oily skin because I would hate for it to throw your pH out of balance because it's just too stripping and too harsh based on the fragrances that are used, the extracts and the cleansers used. All right, back to the video. But just kind of keep that in mind when you're trying to pick out which one you might want to try. Now with the glitter mask, this is mostly water and then the polyvinyl alcohol, which is the peel off part of this. The third ingredient is denatured alcohol, which is a skin drying ingredient. So if you have particularly dry skin, I would not recommend purchasing this product. I would be afraid that it would dry your face out even more. The next ingredient is texture and then a humectant, then a solvent, and then the next ingredient is witch hazel. And witch hazel, I've heard, is either wonderful for people or terrible for people. So it's supposed to be an anti-inflammatory and a skin conditioner, antimicrobial, and they say it can treat sun damage. So that's a good ingredient in here, probably for most people. And then the next is an oil absorbing clay. I'll have the name there. I mon Montmorillonite, I don't know, Montmorillonite, I don't know. Um, Pentylene glycol, which is skin conditioning and for texture, and then there's more clays and things like that. Uh, so this is gonna be drawing out impurities kind of thing. I don't really see the firming ingredients in here. That was one that I felt like, it's supposed to be a firming mask, but I didn't see a lot of firming stuff in here, a lot of anti-aging. It was mostly like clays to draw out impurities and stuff. Um, you know, there's marshmallow leaf extract, which helps inflammation, but where's my firming stuff? That's what I'm wondering with this. I was a little disappointed that it didn't have more firming type ingredients in it, so. I don't know. Uh, so from the ingredients, this looks like it would be best for people that want to just pull out the impurities out of their skin rather than using it as, a, it as an anti-aging product. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. This is $69. It's so small. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really small. Wow. It's hard to place what it smells like. If you've tried this, make sure you tell me what you think it smells like. It smells like some kind of candy to me. Like a, like a lollipop, like a citrus kind of lollipop. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the hashtag glitter mask. And while that is setting on my face, I'll tell you what I think of the cleansing products. And then after this is completely done being on my face, I'll give you my um, first impression review of this.
It says stir before use if required. This doesn't look like it needs to be stirred. It looks fine. Uh, apply a generous even layer to clean skin with a brush, avoiding eyebrows and hairline and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So let me go ahead and get my head wrappy thing. I'm just gonna go ahead, I can't find my bare ears. I don't know what I did with them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this regular headband on just to make sure my hair is out of the way as much as possible. And this is so fun. <laughs> It's definitely very cute. Oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. It smell. I can smell it really strong. It smells really good. Definitely very candy-like, and it really is cute. I can see a teenager really loving playing with this. It feels very smooth and very cold. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Not in my eye, not in my eyebrow. A little bit in my hairline, oops. So the mask is on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks crazy. I'm down to here after one use, but it, I don't think it was completely full, but I would imagine you wouldn't get a ton of uses out of this little jar. Um, it's, it's disappointing the size, especially considering the price. I feel like we should have gotten twice as much for the $69 price. Uh, you know, with the ingredients and everything, I just feel like you know, they should have given more. That's just my opinion. We're gonna set a timer. We're gonna do, it says, it says 20 to 30 minutes. Let's look at 20 minutes and see how we, we're doing at 20 minutes. As this is drying, it does feel a little bit cooling on the skin. It's not uncomfortable per se, but it's significant cold feeling on my face, just as an update on that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into the full review of the two different cleansers that were sent to me by Glam Glow. So this is the Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser, and I feel like I have to tell you, this was not meant for my skin type. I don't feel like this was meant for normal skin, unless you're normal to oily. The ingredients in here are a little bit harsh, so I felt like my skin was stripped after using this. My skin felt dry. It didn't feel right. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, I don't really like this. It smells like black licorice. It smells really good if you like black licorice. I don't like to eat black licorice, but I do like the scent of it and it smells very good. As if an effectiveness of a cleanser, it did remove my makeup. It did seem like it made my skin clean, but I, I feel like it was a little bit too much for me. Uh, so this one is gonna be a no for me personally. Based on the ingredients, I would definitely do a patch test if you have sensitive skin before you put this all over your face because the cleanser may be a little bit harsh for you. Now, now, moving on to the Galactic Cleanse. I really, really like the Galactic Cleanse a lot. This one smells, I'm not even joking you, exactly like strawberry starbursts. Like that amazing strawberry starburst smell. It smells so good. It comes out, let me, well this one, this one is like a gray color. I can see rainbows when I look down. I'll just kind of show you. So this one's like a muddy gray look where this one, the galactic one, is this sparkly black. Uh, and it is jelly, it's a jelly cleanser. So when you put it all over, it does smooth out. Let me put it, let's do this. Let's put a little bit on this side and then we'll take this one and put it on this side so you can see what these look like as they're on your face. So this is the mud one and then this one is the jelly cleanser. They're very, very different. This one I really liked. I've had it, where's it? I need to wipe this off, hold on. The jelly cleanser I felt like was just as effective as far as cleansing my skin, but it didn't make my skin feel dry. Uh, is it out of this world something that you have to have that it's gonna change your life? No, but is it a good functional product for me? Absolutely works really, really well. This is something that I would purchase if this was not sent to me. I would purchase this again, absolutely. Where this one, I'm going to pass this one on because I don't think that it's right for me. 
We're about seven minutes in on the glitter mask. Uh, right now, it still feels a little cool in certain parts. I did really put quite a bit of the mask on. I wanted to make sure I could peel it off and everything. We'll kind of evaluate later whether I <laughs> did do the right amount. I think I did the right amount based on the way that it was applying. I did feel, I do feel as it's drying, just a slight little bit of like tingly and not in a good way on my forehead, on my nose as it was drying. It was just like the slightest bit of uncomfortable tingle, like not tingle, I don't know, it's not, like it's on the edge of pain. <laughs> you know, where it's just not, it doesn't feel good to me. Um, and it's only like when it goes from that cold feeling to the dry feeling, like my nose doesn't feel it anymore, but now I feel it on my forehead and it just doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I think if you don't have particularly sensitive skin, if you're not really paying attention, you may not even notice. But for me, because I'm trying to review it, I'm trying to be really sensitive to how my face feels, like really think about it. And I feel like a little bit of weirdness on my forehead right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this dry completely and then we're going to peel it off together in about 12 minutes. So I will see you then. It's going to be two seconds for you. It's going to be 12 minutes for me right now. It has been 20 minutes since this has been on my face. My face does feel tight because it has the mask on it. It feels very firmed, but that's because my face is covered in polyvinyl alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel this off but one thing I want to show you before I peel it off is that if you notice when I go like this I don't get glitter on my hands which I seriously appreciate because glitter spreads especially if you have children you know this glitter spreads like nothing else well if you have glitter eyeshadow you probably know this too it's just it's so hard to get glitter to stop spreading once you've gotten it somewhere. So I appreciate that all the glitter is staying in the mask and it's not all over my fingers. I think that's awesome. All right, we're interrupting this review for just a minute. <laughs> it is now evening time. Uh, I just put my kids to bed. The sun is down, so the lighting's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, so I put up a picture of me wearing my Glam Glow glitter mask up on Instagram, and I didn't realize that there was gonna be such a big response to me posting this picture. I put up the picture and I you know, went about the rest of my day. I you know, finished the video up, I picked up my kids, I fed them dinner, all that stuff. My husband got home from work a couple hours later and he was like, man, you really triggered some people with the your, uh, Glam Glow picture. I was like, what? And he's like, you didn't check the comments? I was like, no, I've been busy. I didn't check the comments. Well, it turns out there is a lot of misconception about this glitter mask. Uh, and I wanted to clear a couple of those things up that I didn't realize when I originally filmed the video. So the first thing that I want to clear up is that a lot of people are worried that the glitter glitter in here would be scratchy and I can tell you it is absolutely not scratchy at all. I did not feel a single scratch from any of these little stars um, when I was rubbing it on my face. I didn't feel any kind of scratches, not even the tiniest little bit. The other thing was is that I was trying to pull a little star out. The other thing was is people were concerned that there was metal being placed on my face. I don't know if you've ever felt craft glitter stars before, but they're not metal per Per se. Um, they're like, I mean, I guess they, they might be considered uh, metal, but they're more of like a plastic than anything. I don't know. I mean, they're typical little glitters. I mean, it's not like a rough, scratchy, like a piece of metal. You know what I mean? They're very thin um, and it's like traditional little glitter stars. I mean, there's, there's really nothing spectacular about them, but they're definitely not scratchy in any way at all. Uh, the other big, huge concern that I got both on my Facebook, because my Instagram posts directly to my Facebook, um, was about washing the glitter down the sink. And I think at this point in the video, you probably know that this mask is not a wash off mask. This is a mask that you peel off. Now, a lot of the concern environmentally with glitter has to do with the, the, accumulation of glitter in the water. Uh, and because this is a peel off mask, there really isn't much to wash off. Um, you're going to see in a minute that I did have to wash off little specks of the mask uh, that were kind of left as residue, but I think that was partially my fault because I didn't let the mask dry completely. Um, I thought I did, but then when I went to peel it off, I realized that there were a couple of little spots that didn't dry completely and I did wash those off. But the big chunks of glitter all can't come 
off with the mask and you're gonna see that in just a minute. So there really isn't a big concern with glitter going down the sink. I would be much more concerned with elementary schools that do glitter projects and washing off the paint brushes. I would be much more concerned about that than I would be about anyone using this mask. There's, I mean, is it perfect? No, could it, could some of the tiny bits of glitter get into the sink? Absolutely, but I really feel like it would just be the smallest, tiniest amount. Of course, that can accumulate over time, but is it the biggest offender that we need to worry about as far as glitter going down the sink? I personally don't think so. If you don't agree with this mask as far as the glitter in it, then you totally should not buy it. Uh, it's very clear that there's glitter in it. If you don't like that, then, you know, that's definitely not something you should invest in. Uh, and it is big investment. And we're going to get more into that when we get to the full review. So I don't want to spend too much extra time on this because there is more of my actual video to come, but I did want to address the Instagram comments. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, there's a comment that says glitter is not skincare, but the, I just want to make sure this is clear. The glitter in here is not meant to be skincare. It's just an added fun thing that they've put in to try to be, I'm assuming, unique and, and fun. Um, it's not meant to be skincare, and I didn't think that needed to be said, but I just want to make sure I put it in there just in case, because I know if people are concerned on Instagram, there's going to be concerns on YouTube as well, and I want to address them, because I, I know that there's going to be concerns. Uh, someone had mentioned to be careful putting it around your eyes. It should not get anywhere near your eyes. At one point when I was putting it on, you may have seen a little drip kind of drip down into my eyelashes when I was putting it on my face. That was my fault. I Just be really careful when you're putting it on your forehead not to let it drip into your eyes. But I feel like if you're, you know, paying attention more than I was paying attention, then you shouldn't be getting it in your eyes. It's, it's not even supposed to get on your eyebrows. And I was not, I don't recommend putting it underneath your eyes. I feel like this area is very, very sensitive and you don't really want to put, in my opinion, a peel off mask in the hollow of your eye. I feel like it should kind of stop at your cheekbone where your skin isn't quite as delicate. So that was it for the Instagram concerns. If you have any additional questions about this mask after the video is over, feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. This video is for information purposes only. I don't have an agenda here, okay? I am not, you know, going for the brand. I am not, you know, trying to say that it's bad for no reason. I'm just trying to tell you the truth of what the ingredients are and what my personal experience is with these products. So just know that, that that, that you know, this is just me trying to provide information for you. And you at this point is, your job is to decide whether this product is right for you or not. All right, I'm done with the disclaimers. Let's get back to the regular video with much better lighting. So let's go ahead and peel this off and I'll tell you kind of how my face feels as a first impression. I'm trying to get a good spot to peel it over here on the side. A little bit painful because I've got some baby hairs over here. I noticed as I was Snapchatting this look, I'm Jen Loves Reviews on Snapchat, by the way. As I was Snapchatting this look like it's a look, um, I noticed that I didn't do my upper lip. It is what it is. I don't usually put face masks on my upper lip, especially the peel off kind, because I've got baby hairs there and it kind of hurts. So it's a little bit uncomfortable, but oddly satisfying. Peeling my face off. All right, here it comes. Na, 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 I feel like I'm ready to go to one of those costume parties now. Like I have one of those cool glitter eye masks on. Okay, my face is coming off. Well, it broke. I was trying to take it off in one piece, but I missed. Um, I feel like that my forehead, now that I'm peeling this off, wasn't 100% dry. And it might have been because I put it on too thick. And it does recommend you can do 20 to 30 minutes, so that's probably my fault. I wouldn't blame the mask for that. Okay, let me see how my face looks. It just came off like that, and I'm going to throw this in the trash. This should not go down the sink. I do still have some mask on my face. I think that's due to two reasons. Number one, I put it on quite thick. And number two, I left it on for the minimum amount of time, which was 20 minutes. So if I had left it on for the full 30 minutes, then it probably wouldn't have all of this because the rest of it did come off very easily. 
Before I splash my face with some water, I just wanna kinda of talk about how my face feels. It feels normal. Like my face feels like it hasn't, it doesn't feel like it's been cleansed. It doesn't feel tight or dry or particularly oily or hydrated in any way. It just kind of feels normal. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off what I have left on my face at this point and then I'll kind of tell you how my skin feels just from touching it. But for right now, my skin feels good. It feels nice. The rest of the mask is now off. It was very easy to come off with just a little bit of warm water. Very easy to come off. Again, I think that was my fault. I wouldn't blame the mask for that. Um, but my face to the touch feels normal. I don't feel like it really did anything immediate and magical. But as you know, skincare takes a very long time for it to show any results. But based on the ingredients, I don't think that this is worth the $69 except for the fun factor. For the fact that you have these really fun holographic glitters all over your face, you're peeling off the mask so it's got that, you know, tactile, you know, oddly satisfying feeling pulling it off. It wasn't incredibly painful. Just around wherever I had any baby hairs, uh, it was a little bit painful, but it wasn't bad at all, uh, at all. I really think that what you're paying for here is the experience, not the actual skincare. If you have tried the Gravity Mud, which is the exact same formula as this, or this for a longer period of time than a first impression, I would love to know your thoughts on it in the comments below, or if you have experience with either of the cleansers, please please let me know in the comments below. We are the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness. This review isn't just about me and my opinions. You are the other part of this and reading down below other people's experiences is part of the whole thing of my channel that it's, it's about all of us together working hard to make sure we're spending money on the things that are worth it and saving our money on things that are crap. So if you want more information on these, I would definitely recommend reading in the comments below and also please sharing your experiences so people can learn from from you. But for me at this point, the only thing that I personally would recommend from something that I like is the Galactic Cleanse, which I absolutely loved. Uh, this one, maybe if you have oily skin that's not sensitive, and this one if you want something really fun without a ton of skin benefit. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much to Glam Glow for sending me the cleansers. I really appreciated being able to try your products. And mad love to you, my friends. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below for future content, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!